Hey up everybody, I'm on part two of my pipe work on Loco and uh, in part one I finished off where I was showing you how I was going to fit the water injector steam pipe. Uh, I think that I, fin I finished off my last video where I were explaining uh, just generally I think about the pipe work. So in this part then I'm going to I'm going to show you how I'm fitting the steam pipe and the relevant steps and again it's it, it's it's for I know all you experienced people out there are going to know all this but I'm just logging this from a, for a from a beginner's perspective uh, I'm going to fit this the water injector steam pipe from the manifold steam manifold down to the cab so that I've got a uh, a connector underneath the floor of the cab ready to fit me injector not I'll not be fitting injector today but I'm getting the pipe work ready and then after that I'll move on to having a look at the blower pipe work I think so I'll see you over at loco then what I'm doing I'm gonna fit a pipe from this valve round the boiler come through the floor of the cab onto a union so I can attach a pipe to the top part and then attach a pipe underneath the on, underneath the floor which will go to the water injector so the first thing then the valve that you're going to be using choose your, choose your valve you're going to be using choose, choose your port on your manifold and what I'm doing, I'm getting a, a copper washer. Uh, I'm choosing a thickness suitable so when the ex, uh, exit port of the valve is facing downwards. So you may have to just rub them on some emery cloth to reduce them by a few thou at a time till you get your valve to face the correct way. When it's... Uh, you know when it's got the proper torque on the spanner to tighten it up. I've got my hole marked underneath the floor of the cab and I'm going to pilot drill it. I'm going to open that hole up now to 5 sixteenths. Clean the burr off and I'm going to put my union in that I made earlier on in a previous video. So to put the valve into the manifold I've got my copper washer on and I'm going to use some Heldite which is water, steam and gas resistant and you can undo the component to get a measurement from that valve to that union I think the best way to do that is with a tape measure because it can bend around boiler so I'm going to come off that top union round to that valve and that measures nine and a half so I'm going to get this copper pipe cut I'm ready for silver soldering olives on. Uh, I've done plenty of videos with silver soldering on but I'll just refresh your memory for anybody that's uh, not sure. Make sure your, your copper pipe that, or wherever you're soldering is, is clean. 
degreased. Make sure you cover all area that you're soldering with some flux. This is powdered flux watered down. And make sure you've got your nuts on correct way before you put your olives on. Or you'll have to start again. So wherever you put the flux that's where the solder's going to run. So you don't want too much flux on or you're going to have solder everywhere. That's one, one finished. That's my first bit of the park work done then. I think I'll move on to blower next then. So I'm going to do that in my next video I think so I'll sign off for now then and I'll catch you on next part when I do the blower pipe bye for now